The status of humanity and human life has been the subject of thought and, and debate and discussion uh, for millennia, really. Our philosophical approaches uh, owe a lot to Aristotle and, and Aquinas. And they recognised that there was something special about the human being, but they weren't sure uh, when that specialness or when the personhood came into being. Few would deny the potential for medical research from research into embryonic and adult stem cells. But the big ethical question is, should we be using embryos to do this? What is the moral status of the early human embryo? Is it fully a person or what? The Catholic Church, when it looks at embryonic stem cell research, sees really the same issues uh, in place as there are in abortion. It's all about when life begins and what protection we offer to all human beings. We can never set aside uh, a subset of humanity and say they are not deserving of protection. The Islamic perspectives of the status of the embryo, I would think we could recognize four different stages. Firstly, the embryo outside the womb, the embryo when it's implanted into the womb, then a gestation of six to eight weeks when the fetus is fully formed, and finally, most importantly, is 120 days after conception when ensoulment uh, takes place, uh, and that is a very important milestone. For some people, the early embryo has no status, and it is a matter of duty that you should uh, be doing the research in order to save human life. Um, the scales weigh very heavily on one side. The opposite position is that, in a sense, there is no balance at all, because you cannot do research on what is seen as being a human being. In between these two, there is a question of balance. How far would you be justified in destroying what could be a human being if you created the right conditions for the embryo to be implanted, but you nonetheless decide to do research on it instead? What justifies research?